Hey friends and family, it's Kevin here from Diary of a Chubby Yogi. Um, I just wanted to have a quick chat about something that I saw on my Instagram stories. Uh, and uh, shout out to Scotty for bringing this to my attention. Some days, it's really fucking difficult to get onto a yoga mat. It feels like the last thing you want to do is maintain a practice. And it's, oh, no, why to do that? And especially in this environment, it has a big effect on our um, mental health. Um, and I'm going to paraphrase a story that David Swenson once told. He said, um, when he doesn't feel like practicing um, at, for his daily practice, some days he just he puts out his mat and he climbs down, gets into extended child's pose and takes five breaths. If he feels like taking it further after the five breaths, maybe coming in doing a couple of cat cows, then he will. If he doesn't, then just those five breaths, 60 seconds worth of time, he can feel content in the fact that he's done a practice or he's done something and he's given his full attention and his full conscious awareness to that moment. And I think that's great. We often place this idea that we need to do 60 or 90 minutes worth of vinyasa flow and we need to sweat. Um, yoga is so much more than just a physical exercise. It is a beautiful philosophy. We have the pranayama. It is such a wonderfully deep practice. Don't feel that to do yoga, you need to sweat. Um, you just need to practice, be aware, and remember that yoga means union. Um, yeah, I think that's me. See you around.